yeah, great chance for us, and we want to see if we can make the um, uh, the home advantage tell. Uh, be a great atmosphere at Fratton Park, and I'm really looking forward to the game. Uh, big big chance for us. See it as an opportunity. Listen, you're a goal behind. So, do you go gung ho, or have you got to be patient? Well, any which way, we have to win the game. That's it. You know, we have to uh, win the game on Thursday. And yeah, there's a there's a reasonable amount of control in all situations, definitely. And um, you know, last 10 minutes stuff is is slightly different. You have to have a controlled manner and and and, and try to win. But you know, we've won plenty of games this season, and uh, you know, we know the process and we know our best process and our best way, and we have to get to that. What you can't do is go a, another goal behind early on, can you? Because that takes it sort of takes it all out of you and deflates you. Yeah, you never know. I mean, you, you always want to score the first goal in a in a game of football. So, you know, the percentage of of winning after that is big but similarly as we've seen in recent weeks comebacks are possible as well and you always have to believe and you always have to have determination and you always have to be strong in the second half so you know those things do apply uh, I'm, I'm confident our players are going to give it everything they've got on, on Thursday uh, and, and and for us anyway uh, to have full energy uh, players with full energy and uh, tactically to be right you know in terms of our 4-2-3-1 is important Put any special plans into a game like this or is it got to be business as usual? I think it's business as usual, but obviously try to do things at your maximum and better. And and you know, in recent games, you know, have have our players really had full energy? I'm not so sure. You know, we have to make sure we've got that. And I, and I think the the atmosphere will generate that. I think it will lift everybody. And um, you know, for for our lads, then it's about keeping calm, making the right decisions, and uh, uh, being prepared and maximising. You know, it's not it's not a situation where you can suddenly. You know, change direction at this stage, but um, maximising the game that we've had, our good games this season, which have there been many of, uh, and replicating those. Is it maybe as well about the crowd being a bit patient and, and being there with you? Yeah, we can't, you know, dictate and and and, and necessarily ask of the crowd. Our crowd have been brilliant, you know, at Fratton Park and and then on their travels. You know, they've got right behind us. It's up to us to make sure we engage the crowd and give them something to shout about and um, put a performance on the pitch that's got you know both quality and heart and if we can do that and play to our maximum then obviously we know they can they can drive us on but um you know crowds whether that be Portsmouth or anywhere else they only do react to what they see on the pitch and that's our responsibility to do that we can't you know, it doesn't work the other way around we can't criticize them names on everybody's lips will be sort of Lee Brown and Brett Pittman yeah, I mean they were out today jogging. Haven't main, haven't trained with the, with the main group today, but were outside running and um, and uh, working, which is which is good news. You know, deadline day really won't be today for me Tuesday, but but Wednesday morning they'll both need to train to play tomorrow. We'll see. You know, for Lee anyway with the Achilles, obviously it's been very sore, and and it's tough. And for 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 Brett, he's just been nursing that slight hamstring. Uh, but missing the weekend, I hope will 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 help both of them. And as I said, you know, Wednesday morning I'll make a, f a final decision. If they um, uh, train and do a full session, I'm confident of them for Thursday night. If if by Wednesday they're still feeling it, obviously that will rule them out. You mentioned on Saturday that it was a bit of an unwelcome impact for you to lose them. Yeah, of course. But you know, these things happen. You know, Sunderland would look at McGeady as well in the warm-up. And you know, don't get to this stage of the season and not have a, a few, you know, tired limbs. Uh, your squad has to be strong enough, and um, uh, your group has to be determined enough. And ours is.